Question number six, Scott Simpson. To speaker, my question is to the Minister for the Environment and asks, what is the estimated cost of the 90% of rivers and lakes swimmable by 2040 policy, and what specific requirements will it place on councils and farms to achieve this target? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, the estimated cost is $2 billion. For councils, this will mean upgrading water treatment plants and wastewater and stormwater infrastructure. For farms, it means requirements to fence 56,000 kilometres of waterways and riparian planting. The cost to farmers is $367 million, although I would draw to the House's attention that three quarters of that cost is for the reticulation of stock water that's required when animals are appropriately fenced out of our lakes and rivers. Supplementary questions. To the uh, Minister, what requirements were there from government on regional councils back in 2008 to address New Zealand's water quality issues, and what are there now? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. In 2008, there were absolutely none. We started in 2009 with the national requirements to metre water takes, and the volume measured is now up from 25% to over 90%. In 2011, we introduced the first national policy statement on fresh water that puts requirements on councils to set minimum river flows. The 2014, we added requirements to limit nitrogen, phosphorus, dissolved oxygen, algae and ammonia. These latest proposals focus on improving swimming, but there are also important new requirements in the package for improving the ecological health of our waterways. Supplementary questions, Scott Simpson. To the Minister, when was the standard of 540 E. coli per 100 mils as the acceptable level for swimming set? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. The 540 limit for swimming water quality was set in 2003 by the Labor government, uh, supported by the Greens. Uh, this, limit was, this limit was included. This limit was included in the 2014 National Policy Statement and remains. The key change is for the very first time setting specific requirements and targets on improving the times that that standard is met. Question number seven.